Hey guys, you Toxic Egg here, and today I will be talking about my brand new series called Battlefield School, in which I'll talk about and explain how to play Battlefield. In this episode of Battlefield School, I'll be explaining the basic mechanics. So, to anyone unfamiliar with Battlefield, for example, you're a COD player or you play Destiny or whatever, you're not into Battlefield and you really want to get into it, this is the perfect video for you. I will explain how to play the game, what you need to know, and just in general, how to get started. I'm gonna now show you the first clip and I'm gonna tell you what's happening. Okay, so you're asking yourself, what's going on? Uh, what What's the UI mean? Everything. And let me tell you. And here you see me spawn in, I'm looking around the map, see what's going on. Now if you look to the bottom left, you can obviously see the mini-map where it shows you the red are the enemy spotted players. Basically the people who I gotta kill and the blue guys are my team. They're the friendlies and the ones I generally want to stick around with. If you look at the top, you can see the scoreboard. So how it works in Battlefield is if you see the objective A, B and C, it won't always be three. They could have extra ones like Duff and Edward, etc. The whole point of Conquest, which is the current game mode that I'm playing, is to get a thousand points and you gain more points by owning these objectives. The main part of the game is owning these objectives. Now, as you can see, A is colored blue, B is colored red, and C is colored white. Because A is colored blue, that means it's our territory and we're gaining points for it. B is colored in red, that means the enemy is in control of this objective and it's a good idea to start attacking it. C is colored in white, that means it's contested, there is more than likely a battle going on there and if it's white then it's probably better to support your teammates so you can capture it. And if you're wondering what the 2640 here is, don't worry that's just the timer, that's how long the game is going on for. And if we look to our bottom right we can see our weapon hood it tells us how much ammunition we have. If this sword means if we have a bayonet charge ready and where you can charge at your enemy and potentially get a melee kill. There is a cooldown and if you do use it, you cannot sprint while it's reloading. The three little icons are not really important, they are advanced. And the grenade icon obviously represents how many grenades I have available. So now that we're assaulting this cathedral, we can see at the top right that people are actually getting kills. The blue represents our team, which we already know, and the red represents the enemy, so figure out who killed who. So right in front of us, we can see an enemy assault player. We know that by the explosion icon indicated above its head. So there's an enemy player up close with moderate amount of health. I could take him out with a gun, or I can try use a melee, which I'll do in a sec. Use the F key to melee in Battlefield. So what I did now is I turned around the corner and more than likely I'm get basically guaranteed that there's going to be an enemy somewhere there. So I decided to call in the bayonet charge I was talking about earlier. The wheel that's replacing my crosshair here indicates like how much time you have left until the bayonet charge runs out and you're basically screwed. So we can see this poor sod medic uh, standing there in the corner unsuspecting of what his fate will be in a couple of seconds. Uh, that was super risky and I highly recommend that you use guns instead around 95 times out of 100. So what do we see here right next to our mini map? That is what I like to call the squad overview. We can see that the orange, aka you, the player, are still alive. And with the explosion that I talked about earlier, that's the assault class. Uh, the machine gun, the machine gun bullets, that's the support class. It has LMGs and it's good for suppression fire. The rest three people are dead and they have skulls around them, which they're in the respawn screen. The star next to the first guy's name means that he is the squad 
leader and that he can issue orders on objectives so if you capture it you get extra points for obeying the leader. The second guy has the double arrow symbol which means he activated a squad XP boost which helps you earn even more XP. Generally a word of advice in this game, if you go prone be wary A melee is a one hit kill anywhere. So as the round goes on our people are keep on storming objective duff and we can see that we just reached a thousand points gaining us a victory. Now we can decide what map we want to play next in the finishing screen. On this screen we can see the best squad and that's the squad in the whole game that performed the best overall as a little squad. So if you don't even win but you performed really well you will still get a chance to show off. That's it for the very very basics of the game. There's a whole lot more to it. I will talk more in depth about classes, about game modes and everything if this series does actually take off. If not, then I might just abandon it, but I'll see how it goes. I'll put in a lot of effort this episode as well. Anyways, guys, thank you for the support in the last video. 300 views is absolutely insane. Uh, I love you guys for it, and if you do enjoy the video, please do leave a like here. Comment down below what your opinions are on this series, and in general about Battlefield 1. Anyways, guys, with that little note, I will see you guys in the next video.